What's up everybody, it's Missy Barra and today I'm going to do a name sculpture. So recently I went to New Orleans and we had such a fabulous time listening to gorgeous music and we saw some amazing artwork. There's actually a human being in that picture, so look for that. And we saw these gorgeous houses from the 1800s, ate some amazing food and took a walk over by the Mississippi River and saw that beautiful church in the background. And this is my friend, Luna, who was so much fun to hang out with and listen to music. Here we're at Jazz Fest, which was so much fun. Then we took a carriage ride through the quarter and it was just so much fun walking with her in the rain. to make a little name sculpture for my friend Luna and I'm starting with some clay you can use air dry clay or white clay the, the methods are pretty much the same except one requires a kiln which I would recommend because the kiln work will be like a rock and so it's very hard to break this is a little softer so you do want to put some Mod Podge afterwards so it'll stay nice and secure but to form everything I used a cookie cutter, a candy cane cookie cutter. And you can use any cookie cutter. There's probably letter cookie cutters, but this is all I had at home. So I'm just making my shapes into letters. letters are made I'm going to stick them together by scoring and slipping which means I just put little lines with my tool and then add some water to create kind of a gluey paste and then put those together so that they will stay in one you know sculptural piece long piece to the bottom to keep it all really together and it'll probably stand up I hope so and then I made a little moon because Luna is Spanish for moon see so I let it dry overnight and sometimes it takes two days to really really dry but it came out really nice now if you're using white clay and you're gonna fire this you're gonna use glaze to add color but I'm just painting this because it's air dry clay so I'm painting it with some metallic paint making it look really pretty and then I'm also going to add a little glow-in-the-dark paint to my moon. Look how cute! And here it is. I think it looks lovely. I hope she likes it. And I hope you have fun making your name sculpture. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.